feels good anywhere, anytime. The Laxi Paint. Paint Mood Champion. Nescova Black Tonic. The Right Family Black Tonic. Heaven Black Mosquito Spray and Coil. Heaven Deer. Bako Pay. Heaven Insecticides. A Kumon Tum Tum Team. And Napa Foods. Aya de Soko Soko. Freedom Beer. Masa Feely Free. Frutelli Calipo. Duffy's Health and Beauty. Plant Based Feminine Health Brand. Obuasi Betes. Nubna Womwankasa. Dragnet. Your number one online pharmacy. Top Choco. It's Chocolati. Global Wings Travel and Tour. Official Travel and Tour partner for the GMB Ladies Travels. Makeup was done by House of Tara. Embrace your beauty with Tara makeup and skin products. talking about yeah, good yeah. evening cherish viewers and a warm welcome to you all last week we unveiled a 16 remarkable contestants handpicked from our regions now these 16 exquisite ladies tonight embody not only the physical beauty of our nation but also the depths of our cultural heritage they carry within them the stories of their ancestors the dreams of their people and the magic of Ghana's diverse regions their task tonight a storytelling, and I am Anita Ekia Ekufu. Give it up for Anita. <laughs> and I am Cookie T. Welcome to this extraordinary night of storytelling where our ladies will ignite the stage with their tales of wonder. And now, with a wealth of experience and a profound understanding of the power of storytelling, he has enthralled audiences across the globe, sharing the beauty and wisdom of Ghana's rich storytelling tradition. Let's take a look at our guest judge for today. With a career spanning decades and a plethora of memorable performances to his credit, Fred Amugi has solidified his place as a veteran actor of unparalleled talent and versatility. His dedication to the craft of acting and his ability to breathe life into every character he portrays have earned him immense respect and admiration from audiences across the nation. Meet the iconic veteran actor, Fred Amugi, our guest judge for our storytelling episode. He definitely deserves it and you're welcome to the show, Uncle Fred. Please, I've been wondering all day, what makes a good story? Okay. Are we good to go? Hello, hello. Can we hear Uncle Fred? All right. Hello. Oh, hey. excellent. Uh, a good story. Um, content is one. You, you, you can't tell a story without knowing exactly what you want to say. Um, 
a wise man once told me if you watch a film there are three things to look for one the story two the story <laughs> three the story the story is indeed very important it means if you don't have any content then you better keep quiet it's as simple as that mm, very very simple now let me go to jibodi and find out do you also agree the story the story the story, the story. or you're looking absolutely. for something else tonight absolutely um so first of all you girls are looking ravishing oh don't you think so audience give them a clap and i'm so honored to have to be sitting around uncle fred i was just telling him for those of us who are a certain age <clears throat> we've been watching him for a long time so it's good to have him next to us and of course my beautiful janet but what i say is what he said is 100 percent correct for me tonight what i just want to see is every touch point emotional spiritual mental intellectual because that's what goes into a true story i want to see those touch points come out and i'm excited to learn about everything that's going on in the 16 regions historically through a story that's and what I'm that's exactly for. what you're going to get and then to the beautiful janet as well what are you looking out for tonight Oh, wow. This is one of my favorite nights in the whole of Ghana's Most Beautiful. You know why? Because it takes me to the nostalgic moments with my grandmother. After dinner, then she'll call us. I'm gone. So she'll say, Tanya alone, Katanya. Well, here no towel. You know, and those stories were so engaging, so interactive. We looked forward to it. But most importantly, I used to think that I was actually a honorary hour. Can you believe it? <laughs> and answers why. But most importantly were the lessons we learned out of those stories. So today, tonight, I want to be teleported. Bring me in into the story and tell me the relevance of the story in our society today. What can we learn? from your story. So that's what I'm looking for. And please, I always say, what the heart remembers, the mind never forgets. So engage me intellectually and emotionally. That's what I'm looking for. Shall Thank we you. give it up for our judges for this season's Ghana's Most Beautiful. Thank you so much, judges. Now, let the storytelling unfold as our contestants share their narratives. Remember, the audience, you have 60% voting power and our judges have 40. I heard you say sure. Are you voting already? I heard you say sure. Vote! -o. <laughs> now, keep your votes coming to keep your favorite contestant by downloading the TV3 Reality app or you can vote with a short code. Those of you who are saying vote, what's the short code? Give it up for yourselves! <laughs> Anita, our people are ready. They are ready. They are super they are ready. ready. They I are love ready. the energy tonight. But you know something? After all is said and done, we will be recognizing the best performer, the most eloquent storyteller, and the best dressed among our contestants tonight. But that's not all. I love the way you guys are, you know, ready in the mood. We have something for you. Are you ready? Aha! Uh -huh. Relax, relax. Yeah, relax. No, 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 no. This one, you need to relax. relax. You need to relax to take it in. So relax. I yeah. need to tell them. Tell uh -huh. them. So we have a delightful surprise for you too. Uh, please check under your chairs for a special techno sticker. Just check. Just, you know, pass your hand. Oh. They are bumping uh. their heads already. Oh, oh, there. Okay. So you know something? Just keep it. Keep those coupons very, very close. Don't let anybody take it from you. Keep it. No, and but first of all, let's see. Let's see. If you have a coupon, raise your hand. Okay, on this side, there's a lot on this side. Oh. Okay, and then some on this side as well. Please keep it intact. Our ashes are going to come to you. Take them and tell you what it is that you have won. So please keep them close to your chest, all right? Exactly, because we have some surprises coming in for you from Techno. And we'll be back shortly after this quick commercial break. Do stay tuned. <laughs> It all starts with a dream. A quest to create life through fabric, with a process that gives meaning to every inspiration. 
It all starts with passion, an innate desire to capture tradition into design, a symbol of indigenous creativity, perfectly made to define the soul-given radiant colors and a bold look. The essence of state-of-the-art mastery, indulging every fiber of its being. Birthing timeless styles, imprinted in our hearts and in our lives. So you can also dream to be. Life Style. Things never change. Like Gino's quality recipe that gives my food that rich color, unique natural taste every time. Smells good, yo. Hey, sister, we did what Pupun San Juan Casa, just like I remember. <laughs> Best jollof I've ever eaten. Wow, this is real jollof, mommy. Gino dear, am I drowning at the Ankasa? Say, Gino dear, fie ni fie. It's delicious, yo! <laughs> this advert is FDA approved. I wish I could have soft and glowing skin. New Geisha Black Soap. With activated charcoal to give you soft and glowing skin. New Geisha Black Soap and New Geisha Moringa. I wish I could have soft and glowing skin. New Geisha Black Soap. With activated charcoal to give you soft and glowing skin. New Geisha Black Soap and New Geisha Moringa. Many people think I get whatever I want because I'm a popular actress. But no, that is not true. Me and Kasano. And when I find it, I stick to it. My shishuman your bell pack tissues. Bell pack and with tea roll. Bell pack tea roll. Soft, but not weak. Strong, but not hard. It is smooth. Me yusua, me hotome. It's just perfect. Same as the kitchen towel. What a bakwa. What a mini pepaye. What a mini soki. A chimu. One bell pack kitchen towel lasts longer and saves you money. It's time you switch to bell pack today. Say your pocket tissue, table napkin, tea roll, and a kitchen towel. Bell pack is simply the best. It's just perfect. Nothing feels so good like bell pack. We're alive in three, two, one. What, what was the announcement again? Airtel Tigo is now 18. Ah, okay. We go live in 3, 2, 1. It's here for Airtel Tigo is now 18. It's Airtel Tigo. Ah, it's okay. Since here, there are no simple cry. It's now 18. Tell a neighbor to tell a neighbor that your favorite telecommunications network, Airtel Tigo, is now 18. Simple. New name, same affordable and reliable internet, credit cards, secure money services, and much more. AT. Life is simple. You just sleep. That's my. Madina, 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 
Heaven insecticide spray. Eh ye sham. Ne sansu kum mwa wo tu any omwa mu via nyina. Na having naphthalene balls, any having perfumed insect repellent no. E kum mwa wo ya. Na se nja hya wo echiri. Heaven black mosquito kwe. Em pum wisiye bebre. En se wo fene so. E sham kama. Kwe no. E mu bu. Na jumo saisi no. E bo juma don shri. Jumi ye no. And a heaven spray, heaven naphthalene balls, ni perfumed insect repellent no. E kum wa o mutu. Na wa o nam from na se nja hya wo echi. Heaven die. Ba kope. Heaven die. Don't be enslaved. Freedom is coming. Ghana, our motherland, is free forever. Free, don't touch it. Free, don't touch it. Free, don't touch it. Must have free. 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 This advertisement is FDA approved. When I was young, I asked my mother the secret of her vitality and health. She said, the right food, the right exercise, the right amount of sleep, and the right blood tonic. Nescofa blood tonic is effective for the treatment of anemia, lack of appetite, and stressful conditions in both adults and children. Next for Blood Tonic, the right family blood tonic. Another quality product from Ernest Chemist. This advertisement has been vetted and approved it's by... It's time to rise. It's time to shine. Strawberry time. Vitamin strawberry time. Time to rise. Enjoy Vitamilk Strawberry with 33% less sugar than Vitamilk Regular. Yet still delicious because of the nice combination from soy milk and strawberry. Source of protein plus vitamin B1 and B2. Rise and shine, Vitamilk Strawberry. This advert is FDA. And tonight is all about storytelling. Storytelling is oral literature that has been passed down from generation to generation. And over the years, we listen to these stories and we are educated, we are informed, and we are entertained as well. And that is the task of our ladies tonight, to inform us, educate, and entertain us. But I'm sure you're waiting to see our ladies. You can see our beautiful stools here, and they will be taking their seats pretty shortly. And I'll be calling them one after the other. And so with a round of applause, let's welcome Nura from the Northern region. Well, all the ladies can join me. Titiaka Na Yele Sewa, Amuenima, Ohima. I mean, all the ladies join me. You have it as 16 beautiful ladies and tonight we're starting from the northern region and from the north nura i know so much 
about the northern region, but there's something I do not know that has to do with the beauty in the diversity and unity of the people. And there's also a story I've heard about the Dagumbas and the Ashantis. Tell us more. Good evening, Ghana. So today I'll be telling you a story of how the relationship between Dagbong and Asantiman was fostered. Tell us more. I have a story to tell you. Ah, when I say Selma Yazar Kazara, you respond Kariya Bekabe. Selma Yazar Kazara. Kariya Bekabe. Uh huh. On my way back from my friend's wedding one day, I saw two of my neighbors seriously arguing. So I approached them and asked, Wula! They said, our parents don't want us to get married because we are from different tribes. Oh. So I said, ah, that is why you are fighting. So you've not heard of how the slavery business fostered the relationship between Dagbon and Asante Man. Sit down, sit down, let me tell you. Yeah, huh? Once upon the 1700s, when Nabumbi passed, and the Yenik Pamba chose Nagariba the first, and chose Nagariba the first, and then sued him and then skinned him as Yana over his nephew Nasalan Ziblem. Nasalan Ziblem, who was a slave trader down south, was not happy about this at all. Mm. So he liaised with his friend Enim Komwa, who asked the, the Asante Hine Osaitu to the first to send emissaries with them to, to invite Yana to the Asante kingdom. Mm. Mm. Upon reaching, Komwa offered for his slaves to carry the Yana to Asante land. But on their way to Asante land, almost all his slaves fell and died oh. due to the powerful nature of Yana's charms. A distraught Komwa complained bitterly to Asante Hini of how he had lost his slaves. Oh. So, Asante Hini, realizing the kind of powers Yana possessed, said, If you don't return this man, I'll pin Baba. Hmm. So thereafter, there were several agreements made, such as war trades, warrior trades, where warriors from Dagbong were sent to Asante Man, married Asante ladies, and vice versa. Okay. It is why today, when you go to places in the Ashanti region, you hear names like Bantama, which some people say is actually Mbantama, my father gave me. Ah, we say Tumpana, which is actually derived from Atumpan. Asafuhini, Sapashini, Ochiri, Achiri. Guess what? Fascinatingly, then, it was Nagariba the first and Osaiti to the first. Presently, we have Nagariba the second, Osaiti to the yes, second. Ah! And it's a woven and beautifully shared culture, which teaches what? That there is unity in diversity. Ah, tell you got to wa see you me a taba. Hey, it can sound me a taba. Aba, see you me a taba. Hey, it can sound me a taba. One people under one God with one love. And what is up? Thank you. Thank you, Nura. That was beautiful. Let me go to our guest judge, Uncle Fred. What are your comments on this particular story? That was good. That was good. You, you, you've really set our minds, you know, way, way, way back. Today, I know why Bantama lives, so to speak. So it is not a name given by the Ashantis themselves, but it's from the north. I have learned something today. And I think, uh, yeah, you, you, you did it all. That was good, yeah. Let me move over to Jigwadi and find out what she thinks as well. Nora, thank you for setting the tone tonight with energy. Energy. I said tonight that I wanted to engage a few touch points, mental, physical, emotional, and intellectual. You touched all my touch points tonight, and I learned about Bantama. Thank you. 
Thank you, Nura. And if she's your favorite and you want to keep her in the competition, the short code is star 713, star 13 hash across all networks. Now, when you go to the Savannah region, you hear a name, Daboya, Daboya. And I'm sure some of you have been wondering, where did it originate from? Titiaka, from the Savannah region, will be telling us how this name originated, especially when it's the capital of also the Gonja district in the Savannah region. Titiaka, let's hear that story. Hey, I'm follower, I'm follower, I'm follower, I'm oh, keen. Oh, manage it like that, manage it like that. Hey, how can you tell me that? Do you know where this salt originates from? Let me tell you this story. Long, long ago, Dradrana, when Emperor Jaka embarked on his conquest of the current vast Gonja land, he entered into a community called Burugu. Repeat after me, Burugu. Burugu means well in Dagbani. When he entered into this community and the people saw how prepared he was with his army, they said, oh, Ndawura Japa, we will not fight with you. Let's live peacefully in this community. So there, Ndawura Japa installed his daughter as the Burugu Wuriche, alongside the temple machief that was in the community. Mm -hmm. So one day, a very powerful leper entered into the community wow. and upon the warm reception the people gave him he decided to reward them and there he asked them to send him to a place in their land where grass does not grow wow. yeah on that land he dug a small well performed some rituals and stated the salt shall forever be available to the people all the days of their lives so you understand because upon the warm reception we gave him, you know, Gonjas, we love people. Yeah, so one day, Burugu Wuche decided to visit her father because it's been a long time she heard from him. As she was going, she decided to give them some salt and fish. When she got there and offered them her gifts, they prepared delicious meal with the fish and salt. But interestingly, the soup tasted different. So they asked, and uh, and there, she said, And they all exclaimed, And that people are Which literally means, My sister's own is better than us. And to date, it has been corrupted to be the boy. Yeah. yeah. So you understand? When in this life, any little thing you can do for someone, do it the best way because it might come back to you bigger and better. Today, just because of how good we are, we are able to get economic product like the salt I'm selling. And we are in business and we are benefiting from that. Thank you, Kagbanya. Asan Kushu. Thank you, Titiaka. Janet, I see you're clapping. You are listening with rapt attention. What are your thoughts? Yeah with Titiaka. But you know what? Eh? I almost forgot how engaging the crowd was. I miss you guys. Your energy is just so infectious. So, <laughs> Titiaka, the first time I met you, I thought you were rather demure and a little bit delicate. But today you came out of your shell. You have to come out more. I want you to own that stage as if the stage belongs to you. Forget about the TV. For, immerse yourself because the story you told was so engaging and it is a true fact of life. Wherever you find yourself, be the best you can be. And so, take that lesson. Be the best you can be amongst all the 16. Shine your light. I'm waiting to see you next week with a lot more shine. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. Uncle Fred, what are your comments as well? Hmm. She said it all, but still I'll say something little. You see, lit literature put me in the forefront. If I hadn't gone through literature in school, I was one of the shyest persons you know you could get. Yeah, I couldn't stand in front of people. Much more tell me, uh, call that lady for me. And it's like, what kind of uh, test is this? You know, but literature taught me something. And I can see it in her. I can see it in you. That you are before people. And you've been asked to tell them something. 
and you got out of your shell like Sister Janet said, and you gave it to us. Bravo. Bravo to Tiaka, and that is coming from Uncle Fred. If you want to keep her in the competition, the name is Tiaka, and the short code is star 713 star 13 hash across all networks. Now we're coming back to the Great Accra region. Now, Yele, tell me, what do you have for us? I will tell you what's oh, yeah. the great war between the Gans and the Ashantis. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm putting a crow, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm putting a crow, yeah. Oh, yeah. Say, be cool. Say, I'm putting you. I'm Just say, for your ribo. Your ribo. I. Oh, ja, 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 ribo. Oh, ja, 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 ribo. I. It's a long catanye. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Many years ago, in the year 1826, on the 7th of August, there was a serious battle between the Gans and the Ashantis. Oh, yes. <laughs> the Ashantis came after the Gans because the people of Accra joined an alliance of local chiefs to wear the fancies, dangerous. To fight the people of Asante Kingdom. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the valiant people of Accra. So many gadang be me yo ha me nyami me fante che me wo. Went to help the people of Dentra and the fancies to resist an attack of the Asante Kingdom on the Cape Coast Castle. Yes. Hmm. Due to the vital role played by the guns in destroying Asante Hennes' plants in capturing the Cape Coast Castle, he became very angry. So he vowed that he would punish the people of Accra. Hey. Yes, he declared that he would pursue the guns no matter the cost. So <laughs> he instructed his army and said, let us march back to Kumasi, and I shall come upon them. Indeed, he amassed an army of 40,000. The battle began fiercely. The combined forces of Ningo, Pram Pram, Adan, immediately followed up the attack. <laughs> and the position of the Ashantis became very critical. The Asantehene Nana Oseyao Akoto, upon realizing the danger, stood up in defense with his bodyguards, trying to help the situation. But he was wounded. Oh. Ah, yes, the people escaped with the king, wounded, of course. Look at the great people of Accra, victorious on the battlefield. Wow. Oh, listen, listen, there was a loud cry from the enemy's camp. And don't make boy, the battle is lost. <laughs> yes, this battle, the Katamansu War, united the Gans and the Dangmis. This battle happened at the Dodoa Forest. Today, the Dodoa Forest. Wait, 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 let me tell you something. It is said. Hey, that of all the battles fought by the Ashantis since the formation of the Ashanti Kingdom, the Katamanso battle has proven to be the most fatal. <laughs> oh, yes. The Dodoa Forest now stands as a living testimony to the triumph of peace. And there stands a majestic baobab tree which symbolizes the power of unity. In the middle of this forest lies this beautiful waterfalls <laughs> called the Chenku Waterfalls, which was named after the Chenku God. She bebe nimatanya this name. Today, tourists from far and wide visit the tourist site to immerse themselves in its natural beauty. Wow. After tonight, come with me, okay, to the great Dodoa Forest, yeah? where you would be captivated by its mesmerizing view, allowing you to connect with the past and embrace the present. Thank you, Nayeli.
We are indeed learning a lot tonight. Now let me move over to Jigbody. You are clapping. I can see you are mesmerized as well. So in storytelling, there's something called with the role or in the role. What you have shown tonight is that you were in the role. When you are in the role, it means that you have a lot of confidence. You showed a lot of competence. I learned three or four things out of this. And what I loved about this is that you left us with suspense, saying that if there was more time, you would have told us. And finally, your presence was really captivating. Well done, Anayeli. Uncle Fred, what are your thoughts as well? Yes, I would say Anayeli was in the room and with the room. Yeah. Because you can't leave one. If you are with it, you'll be in it. And that's exactly what now you've given us. Um, I, I, I'm a guy, and today, as young as you are, you've added something new to what I already know about my own people. And that is what tonight is about. We are learning, no matter how old you are or how young you are. And that was now, Yele, if you want to keep in the competition, the short code is star 713, star 13 hash across all networks. And the name is Nayeli. Now let's go to the Western region. Sewa, what do you have for me? Today I'm telling a story about a warrior in Denzimaland who refused to sign the bond of 1844. Wow. Yeah. Tell us more. Yeah. Hey. Hmm. Yeah. 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 I know I brought back memories with the smiles I see on your faces. You see how time flies. Now it is time for me to pass on to my nana. No. Many, many years ago in Denzimaland. There was a great king called Awulai Kapuaka. So... He ruled the entire Nzimaland, spanning from Ankobra to Basam, present day Cote d'Ivoire. It is believed that during his reign, he fought over 15 wars against colonialism and slave trade. Hey, oh. nobody dared to enslave his people, unless, of course, they were captured during wars. Was A, oh. he fought to the nail to make sure his people were together. Hey, oh. British for Bay. On the one queen, dash for bay on the one queen. No Portuguese for bay, no. Also relax, make sure you won't shake it. Hey. Hey. So the Portuguese feared him more because of how strong he was and named him after their king, Apollo, and named his people the Apollonians. That is why we have Fort Apollonia in the Western region. We will go there, relax. Was on a journey nickname, the stubborn king, because he refused. To fight against, he refused to sign the bond of 1844. But something happened. Oh, ah, Kakuaka. He fought against the son of the Dutch governor and killed him. Oh. <laughs> so Kakuaka was arrested. Oh. They kept him in exile, maltreated oh. him till he died, and he was buried like a slave. Oh. <laughs> but wait, something happened. Mm -hmm. Tell us. At the place of his burial, a guava tree grew there. That was so bitter that no one could even eat. It is believed that it represented how bad they treated him. Oh. 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 <laughs> and the entire Zimaland go divided into four tribes, namely the Elembele, okay. the Jumoro, the Jura, and the Value. They were never united. But such a product of coming from my bizarre, you know, not a chan befitting burial. You see, my grandchildren, Wolinini, I want you to know that a country that has no past has no future. Learn to be brave, stand out, and fight like Kapuaka. It was your fool. Mama, one thank you. Yes, yeah, Mama, thank you. Now, let me go to Uncle Fred. Uncle Fred, what do you think of her story? A country that has no past has no future. A home without a child is no home. 
a home without the elderly is no home. You have just topped it up. You have put the icing on the cake. That we start from somewhere and we definitely must end somewhere. And that is your story. And I think I have got it now. I don't know about Auntie Jibodi and Sister Janet, but I, I, I'm with you. That was good. Thank you. That was good. Coming from Uncle Fred, Janet, was it good for you too? It was sensational. You know, last week, I wrote in my notes that you are unforgettable. And tonight, you did it again. The way you engage with your eyes, the way you transition from crying to laughing to engaging us, that is the interactiveness I was looking for. My heart will remember it, and my brain will not forget it. You've done your people really, really proud. You deserve to be there. Own it and come out a legend. Don't let us forget you in GMB. Well done. Some beautiful words coming from our judge, Janet. And if so, uh, from the Western region, is your favorite. The short code is star 713, star 13 hash across all networks. I've enjoyed every bit of our first session. But you know something, ladies? We just have to go grab some water. Don't you think so? Yes. Exactly. So we're going for a quick commercial break. When we come back, our ladies have more intriguing stories to tell you right here on GMB, our storytelling episode. Don't go anywhere. Where are you from? Bono East, Upper West, Upper East and Central. Vote are not in the shanty. Mamba cho mi pie meba sisi e. Mo mu se mi ye dia ni usi mi koko maba. Akagetu ni galik na ma ugu mu ebu asanga no. Tima ya na mi shisha mi sa. Mi pese be bubu. Vices. Omiya e natural. Eno na ba din sina abra we mu e nanyi muda. Manka sano ho. Mi so onchu akagetu na galik enfa mam. Ni we mu e nanyi muda mi yo. Ni tuwa le ni mi so. Mo chu spices wa asanga. Mi pemi de dia natural. Anti sanko fa. Nitrosphysis. <laughs> Daffy's or him I knew. Daffy's or him are feminine mischanty. I must have so many so I am. Ye boy and say, Yen say, yo, be a son, see, see, a man, Cassa. Daffy, a bush, and I can say, In tear, dear mouth for comfort and no panel. Daffy shower gel and pour on the money. You want to tune, dear, and a cocoa, dear. What did Jaria and my natural look? Men so dear, me so Daffy's feminine cleanse and then a capsule, see, 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 see. I'm a mint and carbon, you be a me, Jimmy, who be a uncassa. Daffy Nupano, I want to see every brave. Daffy Sana, I'm bound my inna. And Cratoy, every year you show my jar to say. Baman, I'm a cobwass.
What the fuck you say? <laughs> Oga, you don't make a mistake, yo. Ah, Oga? Oh, sorry, you don't tell me. Why are you making me in the your house now? Ah, bring my house shall like your own now, shoo. Oh, they just... Johnny just come. My brother, when you go to back the don't go left, don't go right. Go straight and grab the luxury and likely paint. Ah, ah. Wahala. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't rain or shine. I've been a boxing champion for over 20 years and used the Lozzy acrylic paint for over 12 years. And I can tell you, it's still the best. The Lozzy acrylic paint. Paint Mood Champion. You'll never taste. Hi, baby. Hi, mom. Hope you're having fun at Granny's. Yeah, but grandma doesn't have my favorite top chocolate chocolate bread. Hi, Mom. Mommy, please, I missed up choco chocolate spread on bread. Tasty too. Made just for you and me. Choco, it's chocolate choco. It's chocolate choco. It's chocolate choco. Choco, it's chocolate choco. Oh, the taste of chocolate. This advert is FDA approved. Honey, new sabo! And a pa evaporated milk. Ooh. Tasty and creamy, right? So. And a pa milk. And a custard mwa aye fine. Na so a tom brown no rice water muswa aye nice. <laughs> Honey, trip na basu. Mm -hmm. Me the end of pa mayonnaise. And I'm a Fries nesu. And a pa tasty ketchup. In a good side. Kofini John of nesu. Me the end of pa pa. You long green rice. Oh, you are one. Don't forget. Your favorite end of pa chocolate milk drink. Oh, more kwa nesu. Honey, you are sorted. Oh. I'm in control like a pilot on an upper airways. Mama, mama. Yeah. Let me tell you one. Don't do no more. I'll tell you that. And now, Ufia, I'm meant to be near you. You want a pastry sauce? Check, check for you, sir. Oh, my, you tasty. And a pot baked beans for the breakfast. La so a salad, the man. Oh, she. And a pot tuna. We can puff. La so a salad, the man. Oh, tasty good. And a pot on dairy creamer. For box, we so can see oats. Na creamy tea, no. You want and a pot spaghetti. Dali a pot puppy. Man, soon in such a do re. Now for an apostle, get in the gum. Who an apostle? Are you ready for what? On you with you. So I am not bad. No, no, so good. Yeah. In Kati, FDA appendo. Traveling to new places can be quite stressful and financially worrying. This is why you need to engage only the best travel and tour agency. Global Wings Travel and Tour will handle all the groundwork involved with your trip to help you travel with a sound mind. We take care of everything including ticketing and reservations, both domestic and international. Corporate travel management, tour packages, visa assistance, airport meet and assist, car rental, chartered flights, work abroad packages, local and international conference coordination and everything to bring your trip to paradise contact us today on 0302 971 616 or 0541 004 130 hit our social facebook at global wings travel g instagram and twitter at global wings g locate us inside the uds guest house adjacent to the police cid headquarters cantonment Accra, or ucc campus first floor of the seniors clubhouse sasakawa cape coast Enemies see no be God, oh, then once see my downfall, oh, but the boy them know the floor, oh, me across my hands are chocolate, oh, Zanku, 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 
Pani from Allah. Sit in Allah. Pani from Allah. Sit in Allah. Pani from Pani from Pani from Pani from Pani from Pani from Allah. Sit in Allah. Pani from Allah. Sit in Allah. Pani from And so it's a lot of fun in studio this evening. Let's give it up one more time for DJ Faculty. Faculty, thank you so much. Now we continue with our culture, our tradition, our heritage, our storytelling. We've listened to stories from four regions already. And the rest of the 12 ladies are ready to engage you with more stories inside of them and from their regions as well. Because there's no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside of you. So let's go to Amwenua. Amwenima. <laughs> All right, calm down. Amwenima, so you are from Kenya, see, in the Ahafo region. There's a story about 777. I want to understand, what's the story that you have for us this evening? So this story is about how the Mim war appeared on the land of Mim, in the Ahafo region. Ah, so that's the story you have for us. The floor is yours. Please give it up for Amwenima. Amnesty Long, long ago, there was a man called Bofa who was kidnapped by dwarfs for seven years, seven months, seven weeks, seven days. Ah, my can I say, if you're so, what's your so, now watch your so, and now so. And after this, he came back with seven dreadlocks on his head. And you one one, I see me and you one one. He became one of the most powerful priests at Imim and the half at Lad. People from far, far away came to him for solutions to their problems. Essence Onim Yansenti saw Buama House to Cha. Obekacho said, You have to be an inhabitant of Imim, and that is how Imim got populated. Each dreadlock had what it demanded. In Swedru Bebino, the people were in grief and in sorrows because four demanded different kinds of sacrifices, including animals that were too difficult to find and any human sacrifice. Hey. So the people decided to plead with him. Nana Yapat show. It's done, Sayam. What to Jay Ekufum? Yes, so So Bechan Naya Manakami and Sam. I'm getting back to the door. He agreed to it. Now, so I would have led the cha and cha a paswa nebu. Even chainsaw couldn't even cut. Wow. Yes, then he told them to crack open an ethan webu. I put to you one a medium one dan say yo a muchaya show nature. The man tested the more and one was the more. The three left was named Mem Womiansa. Which signifies that when Bofa dies, three people will replace him. There, three joint rocks appeared on the land of Imim, which serves as a remembrance to the people that when he dies, three people have to replace him. Currently, Memwa is a tourist site that has attracted so many people to the Ahafo region. Let's do it for Amwenima. <laughs> All right. Janet, I'll come to you for impressions on this one. I remember seven times, seven times, seven dreadlocks. And that was the anchor point. And actually, I had nostalgic feelings when you were talking because I was like, you know, when my grandmother would tell the story and we thought she was lying then we will interject with music and dance. And I, I actually felt like interjecting you, but you did so well. You were so interactive. 
The audience followed you. This is a delivery that I would never forget. Because what's a media? Hey, I'm one one casa. All right, one that you will not forget. Uncle Fred, is this unforgettable for you as well? Very unforgettable. Um, Amweni, why is that, is that the name? Amweni. Amweni Ma. Why is that the Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a kid. You were not just loud. If you were loud, you were telling us something that we needed to hear. And you did it. You did it in a way that we, we, we couldn't refuse to listen and let it sink into our bodies. Thank you. Amwenima, uh, you are almost there. You are almost there. Amwenima, you are almost there. Please take your seat. You know exactly what to do to keep her in the competition. Now, let's go to Bono East. Ohima, there's a story that you have for us this evening. What's the story from Bono East? Okay, so tonight I'm telling a story about how a village was named Chimia in the Bunu East region. Mm, Chimia. Are you sure you want to listen to the story? Yeah. All right, Ohima, the stage is yours. Anansi Samsi So. And I'm in the walk of Bunu East. Mitre, Tashiman. Yeah, Becca, Baka send me up for Chimia. Mamma, this is a walk at Chimia. 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 Long, long ago, the Chimia royal family traced their ancestry to the royal Oyoko clans of Teshiman. The founder of Chimia, called Nana Chiyao, moved from the Teshima royal palace to start his Chimia settlements. Nana Chi was had, <laughs> sorry, Nana Chi had a conflict with his brother, Teshima Hine, Nana Chi Bafo. Hey. Hmm. Although the issue between Nana Chi Yao and his brother, was settled by the town men's apostle for in Techiman. But what? Hmm. Nanachi refused to go back to the royal palace again. Hey, hey dear, hey, may stay. And then Nanachi decided to settle in the house of town men's in Techiman. After staying for some period, he now decided to journey to go to another place to settle there. Okay. On his journey, he went through a lot. He faced a lot of troubles. But then, do you know what? He overcame everything. Yes. And when he got to the middle of the forest, he found a rock that had water gushing out of it. He now used some of the water to wash his face and drank some of the water. After drinking the water, he said in Bunuchi, Nanachi, my dear Mia, which means, Nanachi, I have suffered. Although Nanachi was a royal, though, but he found himself in uncomfortable situations. That hence the name Chimia. Today, Chimia is one of the best and busiest villages in Techiman, which has a very nice and very big football club that encourages young women to participate in football activities. Okay. Thank you, Madam Hwasi. And that's the Chimia story from Obono East. Give it up, give it up, give it up for Ohima. Gigi, I'm coming to you. Chimia, I've learned something about Chimia tonight. Brothers, I remember the story about brothers, and then what I liked at the end is the fact that there's something in Chimia to go and see, and it's about women. So, Ohima, I loved your presentation. I loved the fact that you came out. I loved your confidence. Next time, I'd like you to take the whole stage, because it's yours. You stayed in the middle. I want you to run around, because the story was exciting enough. You had enough content that you could use. Once you have the story, that's, like Uncle Fred said, that's half of it. So next time, take the stage. I love your effort. Well done for the Thank effort. You. Well done for that one. Uncle Fred, what do you say about the Trimia story? I, I love the story. That one, I cannot deny that. But the teller of the story... Um, your confidence is not there. Yes. I'm saying this because when you went wrong, you didn't have made us know that you had gone wrong. You just could have corrected yourself and gone on rather than to tell us, I'm sorry. You realize you said, I'm sorry. 
Yes. What? What? It, hello. Please, please. When you are doing something with confidence, to hell with mistakes. Just, just trample on mistakes and move on. It's just a piece of advice to all of us here. Nevertheless, I think I think you have told your story, and the story is okay. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle Fred, for that advice. So, Hima, please take your seat. You know exactly what to do to keep her in the competition. Star 713, star 13 hash. There's another story for us from Western North. And Benewa, what is that story this evening? Thank you. I'm telling about how a giant tortoise preserved a forest in my region. Wow. A tortoise. Yeah. Please take center stage. Let's Pimpina. hear you. Pimpina. Oh, Pimpina. Hmm. A very long time ago, a farmer called Ejapongwa traveled into a deep forest with his nine children and servants out of misery and sorrow after he has lost his lovely wife to a very painful death. They settled in a town within the western north region called Seshiwakon. Oh, they lived happily as a family with their livestock. But one day, something happened. Hey. A farmer came back from the world and met his one of the children lying haphazardly on the floor. <laughs> yes, they were dead. And this happened three consecutive times. So he decided to find out what really happens in his absence. He traveled to the forest one more and hid on top of a very tall tree. The people in the house started making noise, cutting down trees, and doing all sorts of things that distract the forest. Suddenly, a giant tortoise appeared, and they all passed out. So Aja Kongwa quickly jumped and caught a big sheep to pacify the tortoise. Yes, he took it sucked the blood, and it left. Fortunately, they regained consciousness. Aww. So, Eja Kongwa and his people relocated to the other side of the forest. Because of this, and to date, the tortoise and the forest is a no-go area. And my region is now serene and peaceful. This has contributed to quality cocoa, timber, and gold exported from Ghana to other countries. It has also stopped rampant cases of deforestation and noisy environments. Mm. Yes, don't forget affordable foodstuffs mm. like plantain, cocoa yam, yam and rice. Me wa boya ma tre. So I feel, on your feel. Before me swaye mo kweti. Me dem wa say thank you. Let's appreciate very well with the story of the giant tortoise. Now Janet, can I come to you for this one? What do you think? Pimpina, si 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 nanako ta ta bongo bongkuto bongkuto bongkuta prede e mami e pape e bum bum fire. I told you storytelling is my favorite night, but you know Benewa. When I first met you, what I said to myself was, the way you can differentiate yourself is harnessing the depth of your voice. Today you lost it. You went to the high pitch. I will tell you what is unique about you is the depth of your voice. And because you didn't use it, towards the end of your sentences, you were swallowing your sentences. So I was struggling to hear you. And then your voice just pained and pained and pained and pained. You've got something unique. Harness it. Leverage it so that you can stand out of the crowd. But you did well. I like your hair. <laughs> Thank you very much, Janet. Harness your uniqueness, she says. Anyway, Uncle Fred, what do you also say? Yeah, yes. you look very Ghanaian. Very Ghanaian from hair to toe. <laughs> um, that's Ohima, right? Uh, Benewa. 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 <laughs> Benewa. You no know, performances are many a time judged the, the voice one uses. This is the first time I'm, I'm hearing you talk. 
and it looked to me that you were just trying to shout. You were not in your real voice. And I think when Sister Jenny said she knows you and she knows you have some kind of voice, I said, ah, that is why I also felt the same thing. So from today to go, eh, always use the voice that God gave you. That, that is what people uh, like about you. So use it. You've done well. No two ways about that. Except that the voice, the voice. The next time, use your voice. And this goes to all of you. All right. Thank you. Yep. Let's appreciate Benua as she takes her seat. And that's why the judges are here to correct and to guide the ladies. There's another story from the Volta region. <laughs> Salom, tell us, what, what do you have for us? I'm telling a story about a female warrior in the okay. Everland. A female warrior. Yes. Take it away. Mr. Mr. Glilo. Never. Hey. Many, many years ago, there lived a woman called Mama Yakagbe. She was a gallant every female warrior who fought alongside her male counterparts in defending the Anglo in a war between the British and the Anglo people. Oh, all hope was lost and the men gave up, but she stood up. She devised a plan. She acted like a mad person and entered the enemy's camp. There, she gathered information on the vulnerability of her enemies. She then went back and fortified the Anglo warriors with her mystical powers, which made them invisible and their weapons deadly. Ah, do you know what she did? Hmm. She set the enemy's camp on fire. And in the quest of escaping the fire, the enemies fell into her traps. Ah, what a woman. Hey, do you know what she did? After that, the enemies lost the battle to the Anglo people. And that's how the Anglo people defeated their enemies with the help of a woman. What men can do, women can do it better and better. Upon her arrival, hey, a soul of valor was created in her name. And this tool remains one of the most powerful tools in the Anglo land. Mama Yakagba phone call her Nadada. Her name invokes great pride and inspiration amongst the FL people. Hey, because of this bravery, we say the Asantes have Yasantua, but we, the FL people, we, the FL people, we have. Mama Yakagbe, the female warrior who defeated her enemies with her mystical powers. Aglia Mato, Malo, Malo, Namatuiho. Salom is from the Volta region and she brought us the story of Mama Yakagbe. Jibwadi, Ebanuka. Mama Yakagbe, Jagban Tolo. Um, <laughs> oh, she went more like Ewe Encyclopedia. <laughs> more than the dictionary. Selom, well done. Thank you. I, I was going to say something, but what I was going to say was the I talked about in the role with the role, and I remember Uncle Fred said, you are, you are both. But this one, <laughs> you were over the road. <laughs> you took it to another level. Oh, and um, what I'll say to you is this energy is something you have to keep up throughout the com competition. You. If you start this way with this energy, the confident. What I liked about you in particular and what you delivered today was your transitions going from top to down, the variation, the story you told 
the content. And for me, I learned two things. One, the power of a woman's strategy, yes. intellectual. Two, the emotions she used, and then how she galvanized people to go to war. That's amazing. Congratulations, but keep this up. Don't forget this. Salam is from the Volta region. Give it up. Salam, please. Please hold on, hold on. Let's hear from Uncle Fred. Salam. This is par excellence. I, I, I can't describe your, your act. It's, it's, you, I think you said it, uh, Sister Jibodi, yes. oh, that wow. you were over and above your, yourself. Thank you. Look, the sky is the limit. Thank you. Go for it. Thank you, Uncle. Thank you. Thank you. Salam, please take your seat. A round of applause for Salam. You know exactly what to do to keep her in the competition. So the judges tell us that Salam has gone over and beyond, right? But we can do better, the rest of us. Can we do better? There are so many untold stories that we have for you right here on Ghana's Most Beautiful 2023. Let's take messages from our sponsors. When we come back, there are eight more stories to be told across Ghana. It all starts with a dream. A quest to create life through fabric, with a process that gives meaning to every inspiration. It all starts with passion, an innate desire to capture tradition into design, a symbol of indigenous creativity, perfectly made to define the soul-given radiant colors and a bold look. The essence of state-of-the-art mastery, indulging every fiber of its being. Birthing timeless styles, imprinted in our hearts and in our lives. So you can also dream to be. Life Star. Oh wow, you look beautiful and personal. I think you're more. And you look handsomer than your DM peaches. <laughs> Your room is very kama kama pow. My room is your room. Feel it free. Oh, sa. I am feeling at home. Any, where's your pan? You flow naturally when you are yourself. Frutally, the all-natural fruit juice. This advert is FDA approved. Aquaba, here at the Guest Relations Center, Aquaba means planning your events. Aquaba, na ye kwatra Aquaba, na sa ye beya, ya ho ho ba, o meni beji, no mo kwa masa abadiyo. Bienvenue à Lisa Hotel Tema, là où notre Aquaba se bifie plus que la bienvenue. Nous donnons à nos clients des impressions très impressionnantes. Keep your house clean and comfortable for our guests. Here in Alisa, Aquaba means quality cocktails and excellent service. Giving more lasting impression to the guests and experience. Things never change. Like Gino's quality recipe that gives my food that rich color, unique natural taste every time. Smells good, yo. Hey, sister, we did what Pupun San Juan Casa, just like I remember. Ajua, chai, ne me shrink quite 
best jollof I've ever eaten. Wow, this is real jollof, mommy. Gino dear, am I drani at the ankasa? Say Gino dear, fie ni fie. It's delicious, yo! This advert is FDA approved. We're alive in three, two, one. What's what was announcement again? Airtel Tigo is now 80. Ah, okay. We go live in three, two, one. It's safe. Airtel Tigo is now 80. It's Airtel Tigo. Ah, it's okay. Cecilia, yeah, 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 no simple cry. It's now 80. Tell a neighbor to tell a neighbor that your favorite telecommunications network, Airtel Tigo, is now 80. Simple. New name, same affordable and reliable internet, credit cards, secure money services, and much more. AT, life is simple. Hey, Adua! <laughs> Adua, your mother is calling you. Gentlemen, it's late. You have to be at home. Hurry up! This is a love story that started many years ago from having the entire nation love their hearts out to creating terms that became a part of everyday conversation. Hmm. <laughs> Convenient, great performance. Geese up, steal. I'm on sign for this advert is every. Hey, this advert is FDA approved. Hey. Use this. Soldier mentholated balm gives you relief from body aches and cold so you can carry on with your day. And <laughs> boss, everything crisp. You're close Consult a physician if symptoms persist after 48 hours. Also available, soldier mentholated powder. The GC brand, it's all about you. When on campus and not well, I worry no more. Thanks to Dragnet. With the Dragnet app, I can chat with a pharmacist anytime for my medications and they are delivered to me right here on campus. I am a trader. If I need drugs, I cannot leave my goods and visit the pharmacy. All I need to do is click on the call feature on the Dragnet app and I speak with the pharmacist. The drugs are delivered to me right here. Dragnet. As a businessman, moving around to search for my medication could be very frustrating. But now, with the Dragnet app, I'm able to upload all my prescriptions and have them delivered to me wherever I am. The Dragnet app also allows me to order refills for my mother to treat her chronic illness. Dragnet delivers all the medication to her own time. It's so reliable and convenient. Download the Dragnet app from the Google Play Store or App Store. Dragnet, your number one online pharmacy. You just sleep. That's my. Madina, 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 Black Mosquito Heaven insecticide spray. Eh, yeah, yum. Nessa so cool, wow, to any one we are in. 
Now having naphthalene balls and having perfumed insect repellent no, a cool mwa waria, na senja hiya wechiri. Having black mosquito kwe, empu nguisiye bebri, and sewo hene so, e sham kama, kwe no, e mubu, na jumo saise no, e bo juma, don shri, do me a no. And a heaven spray, having naphthalene balls, ni perfumed insect repellent no, e cool mwa wamutu, na wa wanam from na senja hiya wechi. Heaven dear, bako pe, heaven dear. FDA Crato Yatum. DJ faculty, of course, the party is right here inside Studio B. And sometimes I wish our viewers could see what happens behind the scenes when we go for these commercial breaks. It's all fun and excitement. But tonight, the focus is on storytelling. I'm back here with my ladies. We have so much to tell when it comes to some of the untold stories from our various regions. And so we are going to the OT region where Olila will be telling us a very interesting story. But let me ask you, Olila, what do you have for us? Okay, Anita. Today I'm taking you all to the northern part of the Oti region and tell you the origin of the Kinachu dance. Kinachu dance. Yes. Sounds interesting. Tell us more. Ago Bimbali. Once upon a time, in the northern part of the Oti region, there lived a group of people. They were mostly farmers. And they produce most of our products, such as yam, millet, mil maize, and in fact, guinea corn. By this, I mean the corn corn best. Now, let me tell you the story. In the beginning, there were animals, there were plants, and there was a man, a corn cumber man. Say corn cumber. Because of hunger, the man started farming. But then the animals have started grazing. There was this particular animal. It worked so hard. It has a lot of energy. And that animal was the cow. The concumber man watched. I was like, hey, this animal works without getting tired. Oh. He now watched and steadied his moves. This way, that way. The man applied it to the farm. He now farmed and effortless without getting tired. Then, his people saw how his farm grows and grows. They learned the technique. And that is how the concombers produce a lot of food. Ah. But their story didn't end with their farming. No. This technique became a unique dance performed by the concombers. Okay. And it's called Kinachu. Ah. Say Kinachu. Kinachu. Kinachu is the imitation of the movement of a cow. Originally, it was performed by the youth to express joy during the period of farming and harvesting. But now, 
que nós tu has evolved into something more profound. It is a ceremony of dance performed at funerals, outdoors, and also at churches. And now go. The Kinachu dance is a reflection of the strength, the unity, and the respect to the ancestors. The white dress used to dance the Kinachu dance shows the neatness of the occupation. That's about around my feet. That's about around my feet. Shows uniformity of dance. Remember, whenever you witness the Kinachu dance, you've not witnessed just a performance, but a celebration of life, a tribute to the enduring spirit of the concombers. I urge you all to relax and watch me do some of the few steps of the amazing Kinachu dance. Kinachu, yeah, 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 Kinachu, concomber. Kinachu, yeah, 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 Kinachu, concomber. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Olila, showing us how the Kinachu dance. All right. All right. That's fine. She just imitated the Kinachu dance, which obviously imitates how the cow moves. Let me move over to Jigwadi and find out. I mean, did you know about the Kinachu dance? I've learned something new tonight. Kinachu, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kinachu. Kinachu, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kinachu, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this audience. You, you guys are super tonight. Um, <laughs> Olila, well done for your effort. I like the way you use the stage. You went back and forth. And I also liked the story. Next time, I would like you to use some more confidence. I mean, it came out, but I want to see more. I want to see more momentum. You had more energy than the confidence I was expecting. And I also wanted you to be able to use the dance earlier as you explained it. Because you did it at the end, and you didn't have too much time. So we didn't really see, you know, how the dance translated. But you did a good job. And like I say, I'm giving you A for effort. I want to see more next week. Uncle Fred, what are your thoughts? <clears throat> Olila. 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 I've learned a new name today. And of course, the dance is not a dance that I do not know, but I didn't know its origin. And today, you've schooled me. You have schooled me. I, I, I like your story, but uh, it's just that, just that you, you, you lacked confidence, like Auntie Jibodi said. See, as for confidence, when you are going to perform, don't be overconfident. Don't be underconfident. Just be confident and flow. It's as simple as that. If you do it below ordinary confidence, there's a problem. If you overdo it, there's a problem. So take it confident and that is it. More grace to your elbow. Thank you. Olila. Olila is representing the OT region. And if you want to keep her in the competition, the short code is star 713, star 13 hash. Now let's go to the Bono region. Kwatima, tonight you are looking like a man. I'm seeing the hair. I'm seeing your outfit. What is your story about? Anita, tonight my story is about the Adinkra symbols and how it came about. I'm seeing quite a lot of them in your outfit. Yes. So tell us more. Okay. <laughs> in a town called German in the Bunu region was a king called Nana Kofi Dinkra. A dinkra is a Bunu language, which means farewell. And so a Bunu man will say, Minini dinkra nra, which means I bid him farewell yesterday. A dinkra was a dreamer and artistic as well. 
He had the ability to transfer the ideas, he had the dreams into reality by drawing them. But you know, in the 19th century, they were not fortunate with inks and papers. So. But Adinkra had his way out by drawing his concept on a calabash tree every morning. Hey, wow. Adinkra never met a calabash tree without drawing on it. His designs were amazing, full of inspiration. His first design is called Adinkrahine. Kase Adinkrahine. He proceeded with the Jinyame, which indicates the supremacy of God. He made the Sankofa, the Funtun Funafu, the Nchen Funafu, Owachi Diye, Jewotiko, and many more. And Nuntina Yabunu for you to need in a Adinkrash and so dear, because you will need Adinkrash symbols. The Adinkrash symbols are cherished not only by the people of Buno, by the Akans and to Ghana at large. They are used in our cloth, in royal places like the palace, the museum, even in offices. Oh, when the president invited me to his office this morning, I wasn't surprised to see the Jinya Misimbo right opposite the Ghana flag. <laughs> I didn't cry all the way. Now, before I leave, before I leave, do you know that the king of Buno is called Nene Dinkra. You know, eh? Oh, and yet, Ndibesiha, Meko Nabiaba, Namasipi. Kwatima representing the Buno region and telling us more about the Dinkra symbols. Janet, Janet, the clapping is not stopping. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. It's wow. not stopping. It's not stopping. Janet, did, did you know about this? Because it's my first time hearing it. I mean, if I DJ faculty, I missed you. <laughs> if I could stand up and give you a standing ovation. This was a standing ovation performance. You gave Selom a run for her money. You know, I've met you twice. The first night and then on the unveiling. I'm like, hey, this lady crack. Let me use your word, Kwatima. Does she ever lose her poisonous? You're so poised. You're always jet, jet, jet. And I'm like, where are her vulnerabilities? Because that is what makes you human. And that is what connects to us human. Today you let it all out there. And thank you for sharing the stories behind Adinkra. Well done. I enjoyed it. Thank you, Janet. Uncle Fred, tell us something. <laughs> that was a super show. Yeah. I, I'm so dumbfounded. You, you played the role to, to, to the hilt. You hit the nail right on the head. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best because this, this, I don't know how to describe what you did. That was really, really good. Keep it up. Beyond the moon is where you belong. It will come to pass. Some great words coming in from our judges. And if Kwatima from the Buno region wowed you as well. The short code is very simple. Star 713, star 13 hash across all networks. Do the needful and vote for her. Now we're moving over to you, Adwanige. Adwanige. I'm mentioning your name twice because I know you have a very interesting story to tell us. Yes, Anita. But even before you get into the details, just give us a hint. What are you coming to tell us? Anita, mm -hmm. I want to share a story with everyone. Why most of our names proceed with an A? Mm. That explains your name then. But we want to know more. So tell us. Soloma o Soloma. Did you hear? I said Soloma o Soloma. You respond, Soloma, which means story, story. Soloma o Soloma. Soloma o Soloma. Over 200 years ago, when the Zambarma Empire attacked the northern Ghana, our forefathers had to consult the gods of our land to find solutions. 
Do you know what the gods told them? To name our warriors according to things in our environment. That is why Kugut, which means rock, became a Kugut by adding an A that signifies strength. Tia, which means tree, became a Tia that signifies life. Do you know that these Zambarma were blindfolded because they thought we were just mentioning things in our region? No knowing, we wanted to call them by using the things to be able to attack them in our region. So my people said, Akugut, don't know Zame, don't know Zame, don't know Zame. They said, fight them, fight them. And oh, one of their leaders died. And they went to the right hand side. Atia humbabila, humbabila, ike, ike, maimila. And they died. <clears throat> Do you know what happened? Yes. The Zambarma yes. people started running, running, and they left our region. And that is how we overcame the Zambarma Empire. Ah. Let me tell you one thing traditions didn't end there, but it continued. However, this time around, we do not mention our names to ambush people but to show signs of identity. That is why most of our names start with an A. Like Adongo. Haven't you heard Adongo before? Yeah. Haven't you heard Adwaliki before? Yeah. And what of Alamisi? Yeah. Yes. So don't be surprised when you visit the Upper East region and you hear my people calling you or pronouncing your name with an A. Like AC would be AC. What of John? Ah, uh, John. Oi, yami bulo, payenu, 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 payenu. Hey, what of coffee? Ah, coffee. Hey, yes, 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 payenu, payenu, payenu. That's one thing that I have learned: that we are Africans, and our natural environment would always define us. You know what? That makes us unique. United and protected. Akiale, yes, Zanyure, Post Baraka. Thank you. Thank you, Adwanige. I guess when it comes to me, I don't have a problem. I have a lot of A's in my name, so <laughs> I don't have a problem. Anita. A Anita. Wow. <laughs> Let me move over to Jigbody and find out. Are we calling you Ajibody? Ajibody. Ajibody. A Janet. Ah, uh, Fred, uh, Anita, <laughs> and I have to say, a uh, cookie. A uh, cookie tea. <laughs> so, well done, Aduanige. Uh, now I understand the A in your name. Good presentation. Thank you. I think tonight, one of the things I also said I was coming to do tonight was learn. One of the things I didn't know about your region was the story of the Zamrama people. One. And secondly, why you use an A and you've educated us. Keep it up. Thank Good you. effort. Thank you. Keep it up coming from Jibodi. Uncle Fred, did you know of the story? I never did. Wow. And today I have learnt this. Thank you so much, Aduani Gay. Maybe I shall start calling myself Aamugi. <laughs> So I ha I'll have a double A before the MUGI. Thank you so much for the story. That was good. We, we, we love it. We love it. Keep it up. Thank you. Keep it up, Adwanigi. And that is the name if you want to vote for her to keep her in the competition. The short code is star 713, star 13 hash. Now let's take you to the Ashanti region. And Ebo has a very interesting story to tell us. What is your story about? I'm telling a story about a community in my region that produces one of the beautiful royal artifacts of my region. Mm, right. I want to know what that is. So tell us more. Mm. Long, long ago, the name Kente was derived from the word Kenteng, which means 
basket because of its woven nature. Oh, even for canon raining toma. The Kente cloth is said to be traced back to two farmers from the Bonwe village named Krugu Amoya and Watakraban. Mobekai, Krugu Amoya and Watakraban, sir. These men were hunting when they encountered a brilliantly patterned spider web spun by Anansi. Upon speaking to Anansi, he agreed to demonstrate to them the, the, the technique of weaving. These men agreed to learn from Anansi. Now, when you Anansi, why you saw someone tied here? After the discovery was made known to these men, they went back to show their impressive results with the then Ashanti king. Oh, Nana or say to two the first. So many years after the discovery was shown to him, the second king of the Ashanti kingdom, Nana Opokuware the first, set up a factory for kente weaving. And by the 18th and 19th century, me say. The factories had fully developed and could wow. even produce their cloth in silk. Hey. Ah, Monty, and could even produce their cloth in silk. Wow. So this is why the people of Bonyre in the Asante Kingdom, ah, my region, the Garden City, hey. are known for the production and weaving of a beautiful kente cloth. Today, the kente cloth is a symbol of royalty and is taken to every glamorous and festive occasion. Hey, last week, Michelle Momo, eh, Abe Mabra, Je, Nakopam Se. Henceforth, when stepping out, let us all step out in our beautiful kente regalia. If we say, Asantia Hodie, a yefe, me damwasi. Thank you. Thank you so much, Evo, for that beautiful story. Now, let me move over to Janet and find out what do you think about the story? I, I know the story of Kenti. And Evo, thank you for the effort. You look gorgeous. Thank you. But I think you missed some magical opportunities. Like, Crow, 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 he, he, he. You know, there are songs and the, the enactment of kente weaving is so precious. You could have really engaged us. So you missed that. I think you missed that. I was looking forward to that. However, you did great. Next time, please look for anchor points in your delivery and wow us with it. I wasn't too wowed. Okay, thank you so much. All right, so let me move over to Uncle Fred. Uncle Fred, were you wowed? Hmm. I was just telling myself, is the Ashanti region the only region that creates skin tea? Because I know of the Everland as well. And I thought uh, you would have told us that maybe you were the originators of the kente cloth and how it got to the other place, then the story would have been more complete, you know. But nevertheless, since you are talking of the Ashanti region, I will take it as you said it. Yes, it is a big lesson to me. Thank you so much. Go for it. Wow. Thank you, Ebo. And if she's your favorite and you want her to... Be in the competition. The short code is star 713, star 13 hash. Or if you want to vote for any of the other ladies as well, that is the short code. Don't forget that the TV3 reality app is also available for you to vote. I'm learning a lot, ladies. I'm really entertained tonight. And I'm sure our viewers have been as well. And you, our studio audience, you have been entertained as well, right? And I hope you are voting as well. All right, that is excellent. But we're taking a quick breather. When we come back, we have our final four, and then we call it a night. Do stay.
Pepsodent introduces charcoal and lemon essence. The unique combination of natural essences whitens teeth naturally for you and family because every smile matters. New Pepsodent Herbal. Introducing a unique combination of herbal extracts in an antibacterial toothpaste for strong teeth and healthy gums that protects your family and you. Every small matters. Mamba told me, Pierre, my boss is here. Mum sent me here, Jan, who sent me cockroom. I can't get to me, Gallic, and my room with Wasangan. Timayan, I miss your means. Mimpersa, the book vices. Omiya, a natural. No, never did sinner. I've been a woman named Mancasano. This one true, I can't do in a Gallic and Tamam. No woman named them you. Let's well end them, you so. Watch you spice to what I thank of me, Pemidi, the unnatural. Thank you, Sanko. Natural spice. I said, Nanka, also in the Maranka, some people make the natural spice. Some proper natural spices. And none of them do. And she knew preservative to him. And Yanka said, You come out to put in a wedding yet. Saturday and Katin Katin, or yet the other two. Some proper natural spices. So I'm not sure I'm cut back. It will be the dominant to this year. This year, the Indian man, men bread, men yummy baby are natural. Many people think I get whatever I want because I'm a popular actress. But no, that is not true. Me and Kasano, I dare be a me ye biano. Me shishem ta papa no. And when I find it, I stick to it. My shishem when your bell pack tissues, bell pack and with tea roll, bell pack tea roll, soft but not weak, strong but not hard. It is smooth. Me yusua me hotome. It's just perfect. Same as the kitchen towel. What about what? What do you mean the paper? What do you mean soaky? A chimu as a paper. One bell pack kitchen towel lasts longer and saves you money. It's time you switch to bell pack today. Say a pocket tissue, table napkin, tea roll, and a kitchen towel. Bell pack is simply the best. It's just perfect. Number one from here, two and three from here, five and six from here, for now. Yay. Now, I have the number seven, eight, and the number nine. You need number ten. Please, I can't eat anymore. I mean, number 10, liver salt. The effective liver salt for the relief of stomach upset, heartburn, hyperacidity, and indigestion. Would you like to try number 11? What? Jiu-Jang. Number 10, liver salt. Refreshing relief, fast. Manufactured and distributed by Ernest Chemist Limited. This advert is FDA approved. <laughs> what the f*** you say? <laughs> oh, God. You don't make me say, yo. Oh, oh, sorry, you don't know. Why are you going to paint your house now? Ah, well, my house shall like your own now, shoe. Oh, they guess. Johnny just come. My brother, when you go to bath, you paint. Don't go left, don't go right. Go straight and grab the luxury and like you paint. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Wow. Oh, Either <laughs> rain or shine. I've been a boxing champion for over 20 years and used the Lozzy acrylic paint for over 12 years. And I can tell you, it's still the best. The Lozzy acrylic paint. Paint you champion. Yeah, Bema. She is the love of my life. Sometimes I think she sees me, but she doesn't really see me. Hey bro, you've got to style up. Style it up and make me go. Oh, oh. Style up has a range of quality grooming products for men that keeps you looking good and feeling fresh all day. Now she sees me. You deserve to be seen. Style up and go. Introducing the new Style Up Shower Gel, the GC brand. It's all about you. This advert is FDA. It's time to rise. It's time to shine. Strawberry time. 
Enjoy Vitamilk Strawberry with 33% less sugar than Vitamilk Regular Yet still delicious because of the nice combination from soy milk and strawberry Source of protein plus vitamin B1 and B2 Rise and shine, Vitamilk Strawberry This advert is FDA That means Ohima and you That means Ohima Feminine Miss Gen T I'm not sure what I'm saying Ye bu yen sa yen te ya obi a e san sie sie ma ka sa da fe bu sia na e ka se in tie the amount for kafa enu pa no da fe shawa je o en po ho na mani ye wo tun tun de e na kokor de e wo de jware a e ma natural lo me so de mi so da fe feminine cleanse and any capsules ne sie sie me ho e ma me tin carbon ni bia me ji me hu de a en ka sa da fe nu pa no e wo dan sie be bre Daffy Sana, a bar my inna, and crack to a every year you show my jet to say. Every taste. Hi, baby. Hi, mom. Hope you're having fun at Granny's. Yeah, but Grandma doesn't have my favorite top choco chocolate spread. Hi, mom. Mommy, please, I miss top choco chocolate spread on bread. Tasty too. Just for you and me. Choco, it's chocolate, choco, it's chocolate, choco, it's chocolate, choco. Choco, it's chocolate, choco. The price is right. Yay! It's chocolate, choco, it's chocolate, choco. Taste of chocolate. This advert is FDA approved. Don't be enslaved. Freedom is coming. Ghana. Our motherland is free forever. Free, don't touch it. Free, don't touch it. Free, don't touch it. It must have free. Free, free. This advertisement is FDA approved. Let's wrap it up tonight on our storytelling episode right here on Ghana's Most Beautiful. Wow, 12 stories across Ghana. We've got four more to go, and I'm going to start with Wuni from Northeast. Ladies and gentlemen, please settle down so we can take a listen to her story. This is our storytelling episode. You've got something interesting to tell us. Um, tonight, I'm taking you all the way to the Northeast region okay. to tell you a beautiful story about one of the ancient trees that we have called Atabiatua. Let's give it up for Wuni as she tells us the story from Northeast. <laughs> What I have in my hand is called Sampani, and what I just demonstrated is called Zige. This is how the local women in my region plaster their houses. They are very, they are very active in communal labor. In fact, we call them communal masons. Now, let me tell you a story about one of the greatest kings we had in our kingdom. Tell us. Na Atabia. Hmm. Na Atabia fought so many wars and battles. Hmm. He conquered all his enemies 
one day, he went to war and he never returned. Hmm. It was rumored that he was killed on the battlefield. So everybody decided, everybody was so worried. So the people decided that they were going to enskin his son as the king of the Mamprugu kingdom. Months later, he returned. Upon his arrival, he felt so betrayed by his people oh. and very angry that he banished his son out of the kingdom. Oh. They re enskinned him again as the king. Oh. Years passed that one day he went to bed and he joined his ancestors. Oh. Hmm. And they buried him. But do you know one interesting thing about his death? No. Few months after his burial, the people realized that a baobab tree started growing from his grave. They were so amazed. It is believed that when you are sick, the only thing you have to do is to pluck the leaves of the baobab tree, prepare nine stukarajeri with sabu and eat, and immediately you will be healed. Hey. Hmm. May say, listen, years after his death, it is believed that he, he, there's a tree that has been growing in the northeast region. And after 400 years of, of his death, the tree is still there. And now it's a tourist site for everyone to okay. come and witness. And till today, the tree is still standing there giantly. Oh. Thank you very much. Um, pussy up, um. Uni is from North East. Give it up for her. <laughs> Gigi. Tifa, let's come to you for... Tifadi, let's come to you for this one. <laughs> I knew that was coming. A cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Tifadi. <laughs> Winnie, well done. One of the things I liked um, to see is every time you falter, you always have to keep going. And that's what you did in this. The question I have for you is that the tree that is a tourist site, is that the same baobab tree? Yes, please. Okay. So next time, join the stories together. Because after you told us, then you came and said, okay, the tree is a tourist site. So next time, let's make sure that the flow of the story follows right. but i love the story mm -hmm. i love the fact that he came back i was hoping you know that the son will come back mm -hmm. after he died then there'll be reconciliation but i missed that because that's what stories are all about but it was excellent and i loved your energy thank you good very much. effort thank, thank you. you thank you Gigi. uncle fred what do you have to say but auntie body villains villains they always and yeah. up badly. It's true. Yes. Yeah. So if the son didn't come back, all the better for the region. <laughs> <laughs> oh my um, God. Winnie, uh, that, that was just great. Thank you. It's, yeah. Thank you. And I think you have, you have very, uh, what? Your ears are soft. Soft in the sense that I said something to somebody that when you're doing something and you go wrong, do not let us see or don't tell us sorry. Yeah, and it happened to you two, three times and you just flowed. That tells that you can learn quickly. Like, like we have learned Thank from you, you now. Thank that you. was good. That Thank was you. very good. Thank you. Keep it up. Thank you very Thank you. much. Let's do it one more time for Wuni. Learning quickly is what we do here on Ghana's Most Beautiful. Now, this lady is from the central region, but she's seated right by me. <laughs> Chumwa. Okay. What do you have for us this evening? Tonight, Mameka Fancy, and in Billy, Midwani to Commander, the history behind how we got the name Commander. It's in the form, not in Chumwa. Thankfully, I won't say a faka into the Nancy Swear, nay, and tea. Ah, Sofuma Missy Kenny, Sofuma me with swag, Mamma Atso, and I'm very smart and intelligent. Oh, no, see, wow, pal, me, then me, and I'm in the story in Chen One. Why are you ready? I am ready. 
Kwa du wanjinjo. Wajisie. Wajisie ampa. Once upon a time, there lived a man called Kome. He traveled all the way from Techiman straight to Eguafo. Baby, I had fun to fool your feet. Best of all, when he got there, he located the town called Kanka. He needed a place to settle, so he pleaded with the people of Kanka to settle on their land. But in Yimbibia, they told him that before they can give him a place to settle. He need to go into the forest to kill a beast that has been devouring their people. Hey. Or oh, your present there, na kebeka say terms and conditions applied. Oh. But Kome was very smart and intelligent man. In tono su ji tum or ji ofani tum. Oye, or si wa de ma su me wa terms and conditions. If I'm able to kill the beast, I will take over your land. And the people accepted that yate. <coughs> Having in their minds that Kome will be killed by the beast. Now, so many forecasts and be there. I told Beye Ye on said that on the near Bubu Kosia. After everything, Kome went into the thick forest. Or the new slow, a cuckoo, a way round day. Oh, boo, a way to now I dodge. A way to now I dodge. Finally, Kome killed the beast. Hey! Any job I attach my so then the ordinary nigga call me one pin, call me one pin, who could you for call me one pin, who could you for call me one pin straight to the town to show the people. Now come and make a smart ill or broke up when you win or take it the skin of the animal as an every or did you want now come and say, Hey, I'm mesmerizing and I said the witch of one big prize. Come and do one I say, eh, agreement is agreement. Magic landed. Just as in the vulnerable. The news about the adventure of Kome started spreading like a wildfire. Michu Jatana. Ochema. Ochema. So people started to fear Kome. Where's soon, Papa? It's in the Papa Rebewa during the Eko Kome Chrome, you are told. And now, a foot tower, the Bama on the If you go, don't sleep. Now, here, Fancy Kasim, you better show them. Men that call men though that is how come we had the name in the town commander. Oh, Ata -asa. yeah, that's one big surprise. Call men that, <coughs> but now it's called to mother. But after everything, if you go to commander, you will see the statue of Kome right in front of the palace holding the skin of the animal. Now, where we be, Biaran. This story is not just speaking to us or telling us how we got the name Commander, but rather it is, it is teaching us it is teaching us that as people we need to be smart, mm. we need to be intelligent. Mm. If we also are be optimistic, mm. if we are be consistent and persistent, mm. this show we are now a risk taker, just like Kome, in order to achieve greatness. And as it's me amount to we, so I am sweet oh, so I am sweet oh. Make the sun important, Mitchell. Now what about you, Ado? Make them want to see. Thank you. Chumwa is from the Central Region. Janet, I'll come straight to you and ask you. Chumwa, and you may why a consistent ah? Mpocho wa mesmerize ma. I'm done. No pedal or surplus. You did great, Chumwa. Very well. You started a little bit slow, then you got into character, and that was what I was waiting for. And you know what? Today I've been thrilled, but you got me listening because I was curious. I wanted to understand. Menda, I think we have been fortunate and we've learned a lot tonight. And thank you so much. You did well. Give it up for Chumwa. Uncle Fred, why mesmerize why? Why are you nazin? And to think. The guy was called Kome. And uh, was, what is the word? Mes, mes what? Mesmerized. Hey. I was a one. a It tells me that Kome was a Menda. So, the Kome. Menda. 
and and the equal men that in Yinan have been fused. And this is a big story that I think you've made us realize today. Good show. Yeah. Good show People. from yeah. Uncle Fred. Chumwa is from the Central Region. You want to keep in the competition, you know exactly what to do. Star 713, star 13 hash. Now, from the Central Region, let's go to Upper West. Sang Sang Sumai is here. And I'm telling you all why my father, the one, I cannot go to a town he rules over. Ah, why he can't go to a town he now rules over? Exactly. Let's hear it. I want to hear it. Nabi Abalono, Kualono, Kuyala Jasang. Nabi Abalono, Kualono, Kuyala Jasang. Wait, this song means a beautiful princess like myself should never be in a hurry, though I have a function to attend the Mango. Is it true that your father cannot come with you? Oh, yes. My father, the Wana, cannot come with me to Mango, though he rules over that land. And I'll tell you why. Mm. About 600 years ago, hey. there was a war. Mm. So, a fetish priest advised my great grandfather, Nagura the First, not to engage in that war, but to flee because he may die. Yes. So, he set out with his subjects, mm -hmm. with their horses, they traveled. But when they got to Mango, he told them to continue the journey and that he will follow them. Yeah. They obeyed him because, of course, he is the great chief, Nagura. After traveling for miles, they realized their chief was not following them. Hey. So they decided to go back to the town, Mango, and inform its people, known as the Mantines. Say Mantines. Mantines. Good. When they went back, they started searching. They searched. But where Naguri, about blind, and finally they traced back to where they last saw him. And to their surprise, Auntie Janet, they saw a bush that was not there before. Hey. Hey. And they also saw a pair of shoes and a sphere hey. that belonged to Naguri. Oh. They were scared. That is when they told them that their Naguri had vanished into the ground. Hey! Yes! They were scared and they panicked. And since then, no chief, I repeat, no chief from the Wana Palace can step his foot or even touch the wall of Mango. Because mm. if he does, he will die. Kawana mm. Babang, Chadu Benga, and now Mango Puong, Jalana Wang. I love this story so much because it teaches us patience and hope. Do you know why? The so people nice. waited a whole decade mm. before they installed or skinned a new chief because mm. they were hopeful their Nagura will return. Mm. It also teaches us obedience. Titiaka, obedience, oh, <coughs> because no one has ever flouted this law of going to Mango. Mm. So, till date, if you want to see this story site, come with me to Mango and I'll show you the exact spot this happened. I'll be on my way since my father cannot come with me. Thank you. Sangsuma is from Upper West. Uncle Fred, I want to come to you for this one. I was looking at you. You were listening super attentively. And my eyes were glued yes. on Sangsuma. Uh, that was beautiful. Thank you. Very beautiful, like the performer. Thank you. Myself. We love it. You've told us something. <laughs> and it was interesting, or it is interesting Thank you. to hear this. Thank you. Yeah. From one storyteller. Yes, that was good. From that one storyteller to the other. <laughs> anyway, Titi, what do you have to say? Sounds Yes, Auntie. Princess. Princess of 600 years. <laughs> I love your outfit. Thank it makes you. you look so pretty. Thank you actually do look like a princess. Thank you. Um, I loved the story. It was a very interesting story. I was listening with rapt attention. And it was a very interesting story. So more of those. Keep your energy up. All the best and keep it going. Well done. Sang Sumai is from the Upper West region. Our final story for tonight will be from the Eastern region and a free 
has a story to tell us. Should we call you Boga this evening? <laughs> what story do you have for us? Call me Boga. I should call eh, you Boga. Eh? And I won't say. Something about money. Fantastic. Something, Something about, about money. money. Let's hear it a free year. Oh, it's yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mukasa, I was coming to tell you about our festival, but that is not the case. Fans never find me. Eh, fans never find me. Today, I'm going to tell you the secret behind why the Kwewus are so rich and prosperous. Oh, why are you ready? And yes, Sakawa. Eddie and That is only but a misconception. Do not be deceived. Mm -mm. Years ago, when the Kwewus first discovered the Pra River, they so loved and worshipped it. Missy, okotu won anopa e won suneja. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hey, hey. not just a double double in fact, I had in. I brought so. No. <laughs> when the worships went up, it became a memorial to the prayer God. So he decided to bless them. Oh, say blessed. blessed. Oh, I have to say blessed. blessed. Yes, he decided to bless them. So he asked them to make a wish. Biakope. Now, what should we call for a prayer for ya? What would they wish for? The kakudi. Larja. Medase. So yes, my people wished for money. Not just money, oh, plenty money. Hey. And yes, the prayer wanted to grant it, but he said it was going to be on two conditions. Hey, conditions too. The Edikang, they should work really hard. They are just well being. They shall neither eat nor kill from the prayer river. Hey, hey. asem kesi besia, Frank kesi so. Asem mi kensu na ena pama kroni hopa nomu di aswa kete benkuno. And yet, the people of Kwewu adhered to this. They held with hook, bait, and sinker, and not even a word fell to the ground. Missy, wunye niya ahimachi fa makete biara na kwa shi shi funo. Hey, I said, grow up at one mom. You. Pepe, pepe, and to date, no son born of Adam dares to kill or eat from the Pra River. What do we say? We are Bema, Kososhe. We are Bema, Kososhe. As a result, oh, say as a result. Oh, as a result. As a result, Pra bless them. Mr. Oshira won't say she that he blessed them so so much so that it was not just limited to their land, but everywhere they went. Oh, everywhere they went. Hey, they went. Hey, Munchasu, you are worship, Munchasu, Munchasu. And as the same man, me too, yea, near their being, and I'm a pesa woo, and I woo, for whom. Near the gang, who saw Riano Pa, when you are going to come, now she will see Kama Kama. Pedro Maya, Mr. Yadan. Oh, Mr. Yadan. Exactly, Pedro Maya. Because the Lord does not bless idle hands. But guess who does? The devil. And you don't want blessings from this guy, do you? Near to Sue being. No, that it takes nothing to be law abiding. And yet, Everything not to be. It was a mra. This so. And as the same mammy too, ye. Boga, say you would do. Sign you would do. Then the last person is my final son. Every year is from the Eastern region. And the applause are high for every year. <laughs> Did it. I don't know what to call it, or soft or burger, or whatever. I don't know what to call uh, it. Yeah, easy. <laughs> Cookie. Pacho, my uncle Pra River. My uncle Tunyum Nibi. What? Everywhere he went. Ling good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Started walking. Uh huh. Everywhere he went. My heart was feeling good. Well done.
actually have enjoyed tonight. You were engaging. You had humor. You got me glued. You got me immersed into the story. I actually now understand why the Kwewus are wealthy. I'm going to go up the mountain one of these days. You, you will go with me, won't you? Yeah. So you did well. And most of all, like I said in the beginning, is the lessons that we learn from these stories. That is what makes them contemporary. And that is what makes them relevant, right? And you did all that. It's a great way to end the night. Thank you so much. Uncle Fred. To think if we are, you are the last bus, I think everybody is going to board this bus home. You, you, you just gave it to us. I mean, you, you ended the night so well. And I know when we go back home, sleep will be nice. Very nice. Thank you so much, Efriye. Give Thank it up you. for Efriye. She is from the Eastern region. Efriye, please take your seat so we can go. Anyway, so just like Chumwa said, terms and conditions apply if you have to keep your favorites in the competition. Star 713, star 13 hash is the code. Please keep your favorites in the competition. You cannot have them come here to tell these beautiful stories and go home at the end of the night. So please make sure that you keep voting. Terms and conditions apply on Ameboa. Fantastic. Anyway, we're going to take a breather. When we come back, who wins best costume? Most eloquent? Star performer. All right. Keep voting. It's still Ghana's Most Beautiful 2023 on your screens. We will be right back with the awards. She's a warrior. Things never change. Like Gino's quality recipe that gives my food that rich color, unique natural taste every time. Smells good, yo. Hey, sister. We did what Pupun San Juan Casa. Just like I remember. Best jollof I've ever eaten. Wow, this is real jollof, mommy. Gino dear, am I drowning at the ankasa? Say, Gino dear, fie ni fie. It's delicious, yo! This advert is FDA approved. It all starts with a dream. A quest to create life through fabric. With a process that gives meaning to every inspiration. It all starts with passion, an innate desire to capture tradition into design, a symbol of indigenous creativity, perfectly made to define the soul given radiant colors and a bold look. The essence of state of the art mastery, indulging every fiber of its being, birthing timeless styles, imprinted in our hearts and in our lives so you can also dream to be life style Batman.
Wase Wase bites Endo bina wo mangasa No me nyanse On tom mani pa wo nyan fie do wotwe E sesa apin fo no FDA Aji jredi en gratwe atu Traveling to new places can be quite stressful And financially worrying This is why you need to engage only the best travel and tour agency Global Wings Travel and Tour Will handle all the groundwork involved with your trip To help you travel with a sound mind We take care of everything including ticketing and reservations both domestic and international corporate travel management call packages visa assistance airport meet and assist car rental chartered flights work abroad packages local and international conference coordination and everything to bring your trip to paradise contact us today 0302 or 0541-004-130 hit our social facebook at global wings travel g instagram and twitter at global wings g locate us inside the UDS guest house adjacent to the police CID headquarters, cantonment Accra, or UCC campus, first floor of the seniors clubhouse, Sasakawa Cape Coast. We're live in three, two, one. What, what was the announcement again? Airtel Tigo is now 18. Ah, okay. We go live in three, two, one. It's here for Airtel Tigo is now 18. Ah, it's okay. Cecilia, yeah, 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 no simple cra. It's now a T. Tell a neighbor to tell a neighbor that your favorite telecommunications network, LTL Tigo, is now a T. Simple. New name, same affordable and reliable internet, credit cards, secure money services, and much more. A T. Life is simple. You just sleep. That's the man. That Madina, 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 Having black mosquito wear. A common tontum. Na em pum with your baby. Na emma wo mowa. Na emma wo shum. Na em shum. Heaven insecticide spray. E ye shum. Na sansu kum mwa wo tu. E ne omwa mu via nina. Na having naphthalene balls. E ne having perfumed insect repellent. No. E kum mwa wo ya. Na se inja shum wo itri. Having black mosquito wear. Em pum with your baby. And say wo hene so. E shum kama. The Jumo size, you know. But you must don't say to me, you know. And a heaven spray, heaven naphthalene balls, ne perfumed insect repellent, no. E kumwa mutu, na wa wa nam from nothing just shamwechi. Heaven dear, bakope. Heaven dear, bakope. Heaven dear, bakope. Heaven dear, bakope. FDA, aji a dread crato yatum. Evaporated milk. Mm. Tasty and creamy, right? So. <laughs> and napa milk, a well custard moa, a fine. Nasa well tongue brown, no rice water muswa, a nice. Honey <laughs> <laughs> trip number so, mm -hmm. made the end of pan mayonnaise. And I'm a day of salad, and a beggar. Fries, and so, and a patty stick ketchup, and a good side. Coffee, John Love, and so, made the end of pan. Long green rice, oh, oh you, you are one. one. <laughs> Don't forget your favorite and a chocolate milk. Oh, more quite a honey, you are so I'm in control like a pilot on an upper airways. Mama, mama, me, I know. And a I can't stand it. Just a moment. And a power hat! Yeah! And a car! Oh, yeah, Jack McClone, oh, oh, oh. It's your turn, I can sit there. Hey, yo, contumere! What do you need? Tomato sauce, oh, oh, yeah, baby. And a pass ID for box of salad, yeah. Hey, yo, stew. And a jollofa. Now, put it on one. Then, turn it with you. What's with that? And a power of here. Oh, man, it's a bunny, yeah, do it.
the one up on soy sauce. Check, check for you, sir. Oh, my, you tasty. And up for big beans for the breakfast. La saw a salad, man. Oh, she. And up for tuna. We try to pass for La saw a salad, man. Oh, tasty good. And up for non dairy cream, for box we so can see oats, na creamy tea, no. You want end up for spaghetti. Dali a pop Mansun in si jadu re Na fa e na pa spaghetti no kum Wo e na pa tali anu aye ready Fa u wache Anyo is tiu So ye na pa anu anu soko ni ya In kratu yi FDA apendo Best costume is by Kifi Clothing and Beauty Wuni's outfit is by Fashion Sense Ebo's costume is by Mama Africa. Olila's outfit is by Linden Mode. Titiake's outfit is by Sam's Collection. Chumwe's outfit is by Sam's Collections. Adwa Nige's costume is by Lee Mat Couture. Sewa's costume is by Finer's Vogue. Nure's outfit is by Etruba. Ohima's costume is by Kweku Bwating. Na Yele's outfit is by Avoir. Salom's costume is by Millie K. Garment. Sung Suma's costume is by Seska. Benoit's outfit is by Elisa Fashion Palo. Efuye's outfit is by Dram Domijo. Kwatemer's outfit is by Mr. Miles Definition. Amwenime's costume is by Kifi Clothing and Beauty. Wuni's outfit is by Fashion Sense. Ebo's outfit is by Mama Africa. Olila's costume is by Linding Mode. Titiaka's costume is by Sam's Collection. Contestant's hair styled by a wig by K2. Contestant's makeup by House of Tara. Contestant's accessories by Spackle's Jewelry. Contestant's grooming is by Face to Face Beauty Clinic. <laughs> Hola 
see his blessings And no man can stop us Oh Lord, I won't stop for nothing Victory is near, I'm feeling it And I stay G with it uh -huh. I won't stop for nothing Victory is near, I'm feeling it And I stay G with it uh -huh. Man, don't stay down Faculty, thank you very much. Wow. Let's do it one more time for DJ Faculty. He's always kept the party popping for Ghana's most beautiful. Anita, we are back. We huh. are back. What do you have for us to start with? You know something? We need to catch our breath okay. because okay. I cannot can. And so let's go for techno moments and right. see how the night has been. When we come back, there's more right here on the show. Starting the show today wasn't an easy task. It was quite nerve-wracking, I must say. And as a beauty queen, I rely on the common 20 smartphone to capture every stunning moment of my journey. She's an African my name is Selom and as a beauty queen I endorse Come On 20 for the way it is renovated to redefine beauty. Thank you. And of course, those were some comments on how the show has been for our ladies. A round of applause for them. They've done amazingly well tonight. But every single time, we keep talking about the votes because it's very important. Mm. And once you're not voting for your favorite contestants, the probability of that lady going home is very high. And so do the needful. We've made two platforms available, the TV3 Reality app and also the short code, that is star 713, star 13 hash across all networks. So vote for your favorite lady. Tonight, Cookie. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, faculty, I don't like that. Ladies, take your seats, take your seats. Anita, you know this is not the place that I'm really happy about, you know. Yeah. But it's okay, we have to do the needful. But so you know, let's do the good part first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let, let, let's do the good ones first. Okay. We're, we're very good people. Okay. Let's award them. Or what do you think? Okay. Yeah, let's okay. award them. And so we're starting with the best costume award. We are moving to the best costume award. Eh. All right. <laughs> All right. And the best costume award is proudly sponsored by Sankofa Spices. And also, Bell Pack Tissues is sponsoring this particular award for our ladies. We do not know which ladies will come up as a best We don't costume. have any idea. And so we're throwing it over to the judges. Mm, but we have an idea of who will be presenting the award. Thank you so much, That's Cookie. when we know. The others, we don't know. Anyway, so <laughs> let us welcome from House of Tara. Her name is Tara Fela Dorotoye. She is our guest. Please give it up, give it up, give it up. Tara will be awarding all our winners tonight. Yes, thank you very, very much. She's the curator, of course, and the founder of House of Tara International. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Anita, so this one we know. Yeah. The others we don't know. Exactly. Over to you, judges. Huh. I've loved every bit of tonight. It was so fascinating and sensational. Mm. But it's a competition, right? Yeah. So there'll be winners 
and there'll be oh so all right many, so how many people can vie for the position only um, three eh? no Just no three. no there'll be ah. four. Oh, four. Four. Okay. okay 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 so listen up listen up listen up my people listen up four names came up there were no big differences between the schools it tells you how competitive it was so the first one on my list here is Kwa Tima. Oh, come on, clap for her. The next lady is Na Ayele. Salam. And Sang Suma. I think they all deserve a round of applause. So the winner is, the winner is, ta -na -na -na, Kwatima. Kwatima wins the best costume. Congratulations, Kwatima. Ladies, congratulations as well, but you can take your seat. And she's getting products. Kwatima receive all yes. the goodies from, from Top, Top Choco. Choco. Yes. And also a makeup set from House of Tara. She has to keep the good looks going on. And so House of Tara has given her a makeup package as well. And you are getting some products from Sankofa Spices as well. Not forgetting Bell Pack Tissues. Congratulations, Kwatima. Thank you so much, Tara. But we are not done with you yet. Kindly stay with us. All right, Cookie, over to you. Mm -hmm. Most eloquent. Judges, do we have four people for this one too? Four contestants for this one as well? We have three. Okay. And they are all very, very eloquent. And to think one of the sponsors, Delta, happened to be an ambassador for their floral products. Mm. So I am so... <laughs> popped up, yes, to, to, to give something to the... I mean, for eloquence. Okay. We have three names. Na Ayele. Kwatima. Kwatima again. Okay. And then Salom. And for eloquence, it goes to what did you say? Na Ayele. Na Ayele wins most eloquence. Na Ayele most eloquence. She's also getting packages from Top Choco, makeup sets from House of Tara. Wow, Bell Pack has a package for her as well. Congratulations to you, Nayeli. Your hands are full. <laughs> Congratulations, Nayeli. Thank you, Tara. One more to go. One last one to go. Anita, yes. help us with this one. And now to the big one. The star performer of the night. Who do you think is winning? Who is winning? Who is winning? All right. And so the Star Performer Award is proudly sponsored by Gino Tomato Mix. And also Techno. Yes, Techno is giving a lot of goodies out this season and tonight. They are being very generous. And so thank you so much, Gino Tomato Mix. And Techno, come on, 20 series. And to do us the honors, of course, Tara. Uh, will be helping us and also the PR and marketing manager for Southeast at uh, Techno Mobile, Erekia Enchi, will be doing us the honors. But as uh, she joins us, huh, the big one for the night. The ladies have entertained us and it's been amazing. Now it's time. Oh, DJ faculty, do my thing for me. 
Let let Cookie and Anita worry small. Okay. So for star performer, we have three names. Kwatima. Kwatima again. Okay. Selam. And then Nayeli. There can only be one for tonight. And the star performer for tonight is, is, is Selom! Selom! Wow! Selom is our star performer for the night. All right, wow, ladies. congratulations, you Selom. Selom. Be there. Congratulations. And her package from Techno. Yes, she's getting a beautiful package from Techno with a lot of goodies. And this is from Gino, Gino Tomato Mix. And also she's getting a makeup set from House of Tara. House of Tara, thank you so much. And of course, a package from Techno as well. I mean, this year, our ladies will be getting a lot of Techno goodies. Eric here, Enchi, if you're backstage, uh, can you join us, please, to help us with the... Oh, there she comes. The lady, the big woman. Hey, Salom, you're ready, <laughs> Papa. <laughs> the big woman with all the techno goodies. Yes, Salom, your techno. Cheese! <laughs> that is the Techno Come On 20. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Congratulations, Selom, and thank you so much, Erekia. Thank you, Techno. Thank you, Gino Tomato Mix. And also, this year, every single evictee, every single lady who will be going home or saying goodbye to the competition will be getting 5,000 worth of exercise books from Heaven is Exercise Spray and Mosquito Coil. And so a big round of applause for Heaven, giving our ladies 5,000 exercise books to go back to their regions and donate to their school of choice or whatever they want to do with the books. Of course, they will be giving it to uh, some needy kids who will need these books. And so thank you so much, Heaven is Exercise Spray and Mosquito Coil. Cookie. So now early on, we mm -hmm. also announced that you find uh, vouchers under your seats. Do you have your gift yet? Can we see? Do you have your gift from Techno? Do you have it? Do you have it? Let's see it. Flaunt it and let's see it so we know that it was real. Okay. Give it up one more time for Techno. All right. Where you be? Uh, next week, Mahon Konkon Gaido to sit at the right place. Hello. <laughs> now, you know, next week, me now, I'm sitting you there. Sit, you sit there, I'll right. sit there. Oh, but I'll be left here alone. I would, I would do everything there. Okay. It's, it's, exactly. It's, it's when okay. we're done, then I come here. I was, I was of course, when there. there are some goodies from Techno, I have to be there. But it's been a great show. Uh, they are standing. Where are they going? Are we going home? Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, are uh, we a victim tonight? No. No, hold on. But you are not the judges. Hold on. Hold on. Judges, can we, can we can we go home? Oh no eviction! Oh, ladies, wow. there's no eviction. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. And more dancing for us, I guess. Uh, but, but it's been a great show. But cookie. we may not be this lucky next week, you know. We may not be this lucky next week. Ah. Ain't you know, it's very imperative mm -hmm. that you go on the TV3 reality <gasps> app. Go on the TV3 reality app. Please use the short code, star 713, star 13 hash. Otherwise, your favorites will go home. So please, do the needful. Anita, thank you very much. And of course, a big thank you going out to our glam team, to our Joya Boa clothing, uh, to GTP, yes, to GTP, Annie's Beauty Studio you. for my makeup, thank and you, to Bilonius, our uh, hairstyling for my hair as well. Motion and stills, thank you so much. Cookie. Yes. Hair Theory did my hair, J. Claude for makeup, and Lauren Hoots Couture for my dress. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. We'll see you again same time, 8 a.m. next week, Sunday. But before then, please keep 8 p.m. I beg your pardon, 8 p.m. Please keep the votes coming. Thank you very much. Good night.
Tomato Mix, Gino Truly Cares, GTP, Life Styled, Techno Come On 20 Series, The Steady Night Portrait Master, AT, Life Is Simple, Pepsodent Charcoal and Lemon Infused Formula and Pepsodent Natural Herbal Formula for strong teeth and gums and for naturally white teeth, Geisha Moringa and Geisha Black Soup for soft and glowing skin. Key soup, convenient and great performance. Still a mansai buafu. Bell pack tissues, just perfect. Sankofa natural spices, more varieties for everyday meals. Sankofa natural spices, didier. Vita milk, feels good anywhere, anytime. Deluxe paint, paint mu champion. Nescova blood tonic, the right family blood tonic. Heaven Black Mosquito Spray and Coil. Heaven Deer, Bako Pear. Heaven Insecticides, a Kumon Tuntum Team. And Napa Foods, Aya de Soko Soko. Freedom Beer, Masa Feely Free. Frutelli Calipo, Duffy's Health and Beauty. Plant Based Feminine Health Brand. Obuasi Bitters, Nubuna Womwankasa. Dragnet, your number one online pharmacy. Top Choco, it's Chocolati. Global Wings Travel and Tour, official travel and tour partner for the GMB Ladies Travels. Makeup was done by House of Tara. Embrace your beauty with Tara makeup and skin products.